Hello again. Today we're going to do the final step on migrating our satellite server up to 612. So the final step if you were going from a 610 environment is um, once you go to 611 then you're going to finally go up to 612. This is probably going to be the simplest portion of it all. It's very similar to the um, 610 to 611 one. Um, there's nothing really much more to do so let's jump right into it. So we're going to log into our satellite server. All right, now that we're on, the first thing we're going to do as before is we need to enable the appropriate repo. So it'll be subscription manager repos enable, and we're going to do satellite maintenance 612 this time for rel 8 x 8664 rpms so now we're going to do the satellite maintain upgrade list uh, come on versions. This should show us both 611 and 612 as options. First it's going to check for, as you remember, a new version of if a new version of satellite maintain is available. If it has one. Hey. It should have found one. Try it again. Okay. Let's try Yum Clean All. Because in order for this to work, it has to see this 6.12. I would expect that it would need to find a new version on the 6.12 repository, install that, and then it'll see the 6.12 update. If it says it doesn't need an update like it's doing now, it's not going to work. See? All right, it looks like there's a bug. And they are saying the workaround is to enable another repo. The document says you just need to satellite maintain 6.12. The workaround says you need to also enable the satellite 6.12 for rel 8. All right, um, let's try this again. Now it's updating the package. All right, now we can rerun. Now we see we have the availability to upgrade to either 611.z or 612. So what we want to do is satellite maintain upgrade check target version 612. And as before, this is just going to go and check to make sure everything's okay. There's nothing that needs to be resolved ahead of time. If everything checks out, then you can proceed on. And I would say if you run this if you do all your upgrades in, together, like let's say you went from 6.10 to 6.11 to 6.12 and you did the other update, um, you should have a clean, all clean greens on this side when you do this upgrade. 
because satellite really wouldn't have done a lot of things in between the two. But if you wait a month or so, you might have to do a couple of little maintenance tasks. All right, what do we have here? It failed on one thing. It says check to validate yum configuration before. Let's go look at our vim, etc. yum.conf. Since we've already upgraded, we should be to exclude this now or comment out this. Let's do the check again. And I believe this would have been set with the, um, the leap upgrade tool. But like I said, since we're finished with the um, rail seven, the rail eight upgrade, um, that shouldn't be applicable anymore. But this is why we run the checks to make sure everything is ready to go and there are no issues ahead of time. Because you don't want to break your satellite installation by just blindly updating. Now this warning right here is just seeing if there's any non-Red Hat RPMs. It's saying that there's the leap packages that are installed, but we know what those are for, so we're not worried about them. And it's only a warning, so we don't really need to um, do anything about it. So all we have to do now is rerun the command, and instead of check, we're going to say run. The installation is now finished, so we can validate if a new kernel is installed. I don't think there is, but yeah, because we just upgraded this to rel eight well yesterday, so therefore they're not going to find a patch, you know, but, you know, I mean, I guess they could have, but um, we're on the same one. So no reboot is needed. So let's just do a hammer ping, make sure everything's cool. Good. Everything is up and running. No issues there. Now let's move over to the console, I mean the GUI, and check it out. We haven't refreshed the screen yet, so this is, that's why it's still saying 611, so let's refresh. And whenever you update satellite, it asks you about this connection again. There we go, 612.0. log in and there we go and in the previous video um, I was still seeing the satellite server still um, showing up as rel 7.9 for the operating system so it just hadn't checked in yet so now it is reflecting as 8.6 for the operating system because we updated that with the in-place upgrade yesterday and if we go in the dashboard, everything is looking good. Let's look at our sync status, make sure everything is syncing for our RHEL 7 server. Expand all. It looks like it did yesterday. It added seven RPMs and one errata. Nothing for the other packages. And if we go into here and go into about, we see our version number again. Okay, well, that will bring an end to this upgrade. Like I said, um, the 
updates from version to version are pretty simple. In fact, they pretty much follow this, this pattern. You go through these steps, just changing the version number on the packages that you're enabling, and then it just takes a little bit of time for it to go through. Once it's finished, you are done. So that is all for today. Thank you again for watching the video. And we'll be doing some more Linux-based videos in the future now that we have finished up with this satellite series for now. Until then, have a great day, everybody. Bye.